and they're getting into uh, they, they wanted to see what products are out there for nitrogen management, both the tools and also the products, sensors and aggregate and things like that, and bring all the research together so that consultants, runs, and farmers can go to a site and actually see you know the research and see what you know what's working, what's not, and where the sites were, and you know and look at the efficacy. So um, the yours truly here is on this review panel, and uh, we've got uh, there's actually some pretty high power researchers. So like this Ken Kassman is a professor at the uh, University of Nebraska, um, and we've got uh, he's a professor Maryland. You got ugly there. Looking at it, we got Jerry Hatfield from the uh, Soil Tilt Lab, uh, and then Soybean Association, uh, Dr. Tom Morris from Connecticut, Kansas State, we got the uh, University of Nebraska, uh, Virginia Tech. So what we're doing is we're we're evaluating all these different research and then giving our opinions and in, in their. Uh, They're posting on the site here. So, for example, if we look at uh, products right now, if you, the, the blue, the blue highlighted ones are the ones that we have actually the data on. So, let's look at Agritain, and what they're showing is, um, if you can, you can see this, see those yellow dots. Those are actually uh, the sites that. A lot of this data came from. Well, so you can see, like uh, Kansas here, there was like four sites. Iowa had one, Missouri had one, uh, and that's about it. So that's all the data on everything that we have that's been published. Now, those colored maps there, um, what that is, is this, is this is a new concept of um, how we want to look at uh, what research is being conducted. And those colored areas are called technology extrapolation domains, TEDs. And what it is, it's a combination of soil type and climatic conditions. So for example, in Iowa, and you can't really see it, uh, where we are is kind of like a purple area up there. Uh, that is a particular soil type and also a climatic zone. Then you get up into the Griffiths area of Northeast Iowa, like the yellow area. Up there, and that's a totally different soil sort of type, and also um, you know, uh, climatic conditions. So, what we're trying to do is direct these companies to put the research plots in the areas that we really need them. So, right now, we've got one research plot for uh, Agritain down by Des Moines. All right, so, we don't have anything up in Northeast Iowa. So, if you go down Further, you'll see that the data now is okay. Let's see. All right. So here's the first set of information. So you can see that um, you can see who the researcher was on this site, uh, when the research was done. Okay, the number of trials, um, and then the, the yield. Differences, right? So in other words, Barca up there, 1985 to 88, they had about a 15 bushel yield response. All right. But the important thing is look at the confidence level. So in other words, they're showing 60% uh, confidence level, you know, for 15 bushels. All right. You get down further here, and when you get to 99% confidence level, but you're only getting a 0.8 bushel yield response. So it gives you all this information that you can go and see, you know, is this product working? And what kind of your responses have been, what kind of confidence level that uh, you can rely on. So that's, uh, that's some of the stuff, you know, that is available out there. And again, you can go to the site and look at various products. Uh, so. 
Anyway, it's called nutrientstar.org. And, uh, and again, uh, I adapt in. That's been evaluated. Um, and you can see what we don't have adapt in is the, the TED uh, designation. You can see all the research that's been done in that. But uh, the, the whole purpose is to give farmers, consultants, agronomists a kind of a one stop shop to look at what product is out there and is it working or is it not working. Uh, so I would encourage you to, to go to that if uh, you're interested in the product. And if the product is not there, two things. One is that uh, the company doesn't want to share the data or it has been so bad that we don't want to put it up. Right, so just keep that in mind you know, for you know, various products. And again, uh, it's, it's kind of broken down into tools and products. So we have like Insert Instinct, uh, ESN, Smart Nitrogen, Ammonium Thiosulfate, Agritain, Agritain Plus, and Nutrisphere. So, anyway, I see we have our other presenter here. Oh, Dad, are you ready, ready or? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we can talk about. This is uh, more if um, as you to, but but the, this in the past has been really difficult to find research on products. Right? You have to really do a lot of you know Google searching, you know, things like that. It's been all scattered around. You know, you know this university has this, and this researcher has this. So now what we're doing is kind of bring it all together at one site, so you can go there and see what's working. 